Hey everyone, I'm back in Power Wash Simulator. Let's play part two. So in this one, we are continuing with the garden. Uh, in the first episode, I sorted my van out. We are in this rather manky looking garden with much to clean, but I did save the dog from getting some horrendous disease. The dog can come now in safely and can play here with his lead bowl that didn't move at all when I sprayed it. So <laughs> I hope it's not a lead bowl. Uh, I also discovered in the last one that we can pick up equipment by hovering over it. Then we could pick it up by pressing down. And I wish I'd known that before. What I would also like to know is how you rotate it. That seems to be the left bumper. So that is cool. And then we can put it down with down, I think. Is it down or just, what do we do? Is that saying I can't do that? I've been outwitted. Ah, there we go. And um, yeah, I've been getting to grip with sort of washing everything really. We're going all right. So I seem to be favoring the green nozzle uh, as my preferred sort of choice of nozzle, but we can change that up on this one and, you know, improve things. I would love to know from you what you think so far. Is this good sort of video viewing or is it rubbish? Do you play this game? Do you not? How's your day been? You know, that would be good. And what I was doing in the last episode was I was trying to be quite methodical with my cleaning and, you know, sort of tackle things bit by bit. Uh, so we did the dock house, we did patio edge in, in the previous one. Uh, we did a bit of the fence panels. But I think today's mission has to be to get this bit of patio up here pretty clean. And I'm sort of a bit mixed how we should do that because it, it is horrendous. You know, we're getting there. So let's have a little look at the tablet and just, you know, see where we're at because where's the patio? Patio, 45 bucks to clean it and the edging eight bucks, which I've done that edging already. There's pond edging, pond line is the pond wall. I mean, there's some big money here if we can sort the patio out. Uh, so we've got that. And then we've got this sort of thing here with the power washer itself, a good all rounder. The Prima, the Prima Vista uh, is our weapon of choice. Cleaning liquid, uh, I didn't even know we could have uh, that. I'm not sure how we get it. What's our clothing like? Outfit and gloves, nice. Uh, so that's quite interesting. Um, one of the things I was interested in though was whether we should buy some stuff in the shop with our 200 bucks. You know, does that actually get us anything good? We can have some cleaning liquids attached to soap nozzles, uh, nozzles, match liquids to surface materials for more effective results. We could customize our appearance with some cleaning stuff. Beautiful. Stone cleaner rapidly removes all dirt types from stone services, three in stock, 10 bucks. Is that a good investment? I'm gonna buy some and we're gonna have a little look and see what we think. The trouble is I have no idea quite how we use it. Uh, a turbo nozzle, a uh, spinning zero degree nozzle that increases area of effect while maintaining maximum pressure. Interesting. A long extension improves the range of the pressure washer but cannot be used when close to a surface. Improves the range. Man, look at this. What's this? Used with cleaning surfaces that rapidly cut through all dirt types. A soap nozzle. I mean, that is a big investment, isn't it? But I think that might be worth a go. So I might buy that. Let's have a go, buy it. Um, was that a bad idea? I do not know. Uh, do we need a special nozzle for it? Let's have a little look. What have we got? Light duty. So there's our, oh look, you can even get heavy duty ones. Professional duty, man. All right, so let's go back to our thing here and try this special nozzle so we've got the stu whoops, stubby gun the nozzle we can now got a soap nozzle nice and then let's put the soap cleaner in there and see whether that helps us out <gasps> look at this oh look at this man this is just sorting this out for us no end apart from um we are whipping through it rather quick look at the look how quick it's dropping oh my gosh should i just be given a little touch of this over the area. I don't know. Do you reckon that is helping? Probably. Was it a good investment though? Because it costs 10 quid and we're only gonna make 45 quid for this. 
Let's spray it elsewhere, like over here. Oh, that nah, is disgusting, isn't it? Yuck. Oops, it's gone. Did it help? I don't know. Let's try a different nozzle and see what we can do. Should we go with a 40 degree and see whether that helps? That's, do you reckon? I think that's doing a good job. The 40 degree with that cleaner might sort, it, sort us out. Let's go with a 40 degree first. We'll just go up and down, up and down. Because I think that's, I mean, that's disgusting in that corner. I'm not sure what they've been doing there. It looks like they've set the patio on fire. Maybe it was like a fireman's home and uh, he decided to bring his homework, homework? His work home. And uh, yeah, and all his pals. What's up? Do you do bikes? I could do with someone running their thing over, <laughs> running their thing over my dead beat dirt bike. Um, what do you mean running my thing? I'm gonna assume you mean my pressure washer chief. <laughs> I hope so, keep it clean. I'm not talking about things like that, honest. Uh, it just sounds funny. That's probably my ridiculous warped mind though. Sorry, sorry. Obviously he means my pressure washer. I have no idea how we explain the fish being here though. Oh, hang on. Florian and I would climb up and down. Oh, I missed, I missed it. Uh, this doesn't seem to actually be cleaning very well at all. Uh, granted, I was distracted thinking about the job with the dirt bike, but is this actually doing anything? Slightly. We're obviously cleaning quite fast, but it still looks disgusting. Uh, can I pick that up? No. That would make life a lot easier to clean underneath. I guess we're going to have to get to here and clean this way. I don't know. I might have to, to switch nozzle to a, a slimmer, jimmer nozzle. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. But it does look like you know, you'd have quite a nice sort of area here. It's quite interesting that they've boxed this in. Would you have that boxed in? Because then you can't really see your garden. But then if you've got kids screaming around in the garden, maybe you would do that. I don't know. Normally a privacy screen is privacy from your neighbours. You tell me what you think of the, the garden design here, whether you think it's good or not. Let's change this nozzle because I am not convinced. Uh, that that is doing a good enough job. Let's go 25 degrees, see whether that'll be all right. That seems to be cutting through a bit better. Yeah, look at that. I reckon we can get away with the 25 degree number. Pretty good. But the trouble with this is, this could take me half an hour. I don't think it's gonna be that bad, but it could take me quite a while to earn any money. And I already spent out <laughs> half my money on a soap sort of dispenser that I'm really not convinced did much at all, and some soap. But maybe, you know, this would take much longer without that, I don't know. This is getting there though, this is getting there. Beautiful. So I would love to know, are you a Power Wash Simulator fan? Do you play this game? Is this your thing? Do you play it on your own? Do you play it with friends? Or what is your favorite power wash tool? What nozzle? What cleaner? What tips have you got for me? What would make me a superior power wash simulator player? And I'd also like to know how long you've played this game for if you are a fan of it, you know, and why do you like it? Is it just because you like, you know, washing stuff? Is that your thing? Because uh, you can do that in real life, you know. You know, you could actually just get a job washing things. Why would you do it in a computer game? I think one of the things might be that you like the idea of manually cleaning things, but you don't want to get covered in muck. Because pressure washing or power washing can be pretty filthy work, which is why I think we can see why, you know, we've got the protective gear. Which I'll just show you what that is. Where is my protective gear? It's not there. Oops, I'm hitting the wrong button. It's in here. This is what we're, we're kitted out with, this bad boy here. Uh, and I can see why. Because you know, it is a mucky job. And really, that's what I need when I clean my drive. But what I tend to do is I put on some scabby old trainers, so 
some scabby old jeans and then just get covered in muck uh, as I clean my drive, which never looks this bad. So I think if you were cleaning this, you know, you'd probably look like you, I don't know, like fallen out of a mine or something once you cleaned it. Yes, we're getting rid of the boot prints. I mean, this is looking a lot better. And that is maybe what is the therapeutic thing about here, that you, you know, you take that scabby thing, that scabby look, and you make it all clean and lovely. And this is a serious sort of area to clean, isn't it? I know it's gonna net us some big bucks, like 40 bucks or something, but I feel it should earn us more. You know, this is serious work. I've just noticed up the top left that we see exactly how much of this we've done. And the bad news is that apparently I'm only at 34% of this patio, which I was hoping I was at more. So is it saying, is this patio? No, that's the pond liner. I'm not sure what it expects. These, these steps are all individual. I think we might have to have a slight rest from the patio because it is, it's a monster task. And these steps, these look like easy. Easy pickings. Let's have a little go at this. Whew. Um, I say easy. Still haven't earned any money. Hello? Maybe we've got to get down low. Let's switch that. How do I switch it again? There we go. Oh, look at that. That's quite, quite um, sort of nice. Just to think about just cleaning that edge like that beautiful a step wall how come you earn a buck for a step wall i mean that is fussy when you're breaking down a job that you want step walls you know precisely cleaned and you will only give out money if that is done perfectly it is nicely built though this garden i quite like a lot of the stuff that we see here uh you know it'll be Quite a nice place to have a little bit of food. Uh, I would be perfectly happy here. Of course, talking of food, we need to have a little look at that barbecue at some point. Why have you not given me a clean step here? Yes, four bucks for a step. That seems a pretty good plan. Uh, let's switch this the other way. I'm still, I think the jury's still out on the stone cleaner though. I'm not sure that was worth the money. What do you reckon? Was it or was it not? I suppose it's hard to say without kind of some sort of comparing, but I just feel like we're cleaning this pretty much as well, but without the stone cleaner, but maybe we're not. Let's get down low. Did we get, have we got that wall? No. I'm pressing right on the D-pad to see where we got to clean. Oh, that's that's hard to get that wall. There we got it. How about this one? You have good, strong thighs doing this as a job, I think. You've got to crouch down a lot. Good squatting muscles. Your glutes. It'd be good for your glutes, wouldn't it? Or would it be bad for them after a time? You know, is too much squatting bad for you? I don't know, maybe. Probably are getting there with this. What about over here? I think that is, oh my goodness, that is crusty. What is this? This is a retaining wall. Interesting. It has got something disgusting growing on it. I don't know what the heck that is. But it's taking its time getting off, whatever it is. I mean, what is that? What the heck do you get in a garden that would be yellow and growing on the wall like that? Look. Wow, this this is tough to clean this bit. Maybe we need to get a, a tighter nozzle. Let's go with a, a 15 degree. Oops, hang on, sorry. I want to add that. I mean, that is... This seems to be the part of the garden that I think if you were doing this job and you wanted to be slack, you could get away with accidentally forgetting to do and you'd still get paid. 
What do you reckon? Would that be the case or not? What do you reckon? The dude would be very picky uh, with whether you've cleaned enough or not. I love the idea of itemising exactly what you want cleaned and exactly how much you will pay for each part. Um, you know, is that is that our company has sat there and broke it all down bit by bit, or is this the sort of guy who has employed us to clean the garden? Uh, either way, I'm liking that that level of sort of thoroughness that is required to sign off that the garden has indeed been cleaned to the standard that we expect either from ourselves or from the dude who employed us. Look at that. I don't know why I got distracted in cleaning the um, sort of area down here. It seems to be out of all the places you know, shouldn't really be that high on the list, but it, uh, it just feels like it's not going to take that long to clean this, I suppose. <laughs> but I could see the guy coming out going, what have you cleaned? And I'd go, oh yeah, I'll clean this bit here. Why did you start with that and not like the patio? Because uh, the patio has a lot of work, you know. Oh, come on, that's nearly there, isn't it? I think we're going to have to go real down low. Yes. Is that one clean? No. What? He's not happy with this at all. Look at it, it's saying 30% clean. So, where, where? Uh, oh, okay, are you saying that there's loads of retaining? Well, fair enough. Let's go back and do a bit of this patio. Hey, Doc, bumped into the park warden. He definitely needs your help. Okay. I've got about 22 jobs lined up, which I like the idea of. That keep me busy on the Let's Play series if we continue with it. Um, but only if you like watching this sort of stuff and the ramblings that we come up with as we play. Because part of that is going to be what randomness we think about to talk about as we go. Patio furniture. Always an interesting thing to talk about. Do you go metal? Do you go wood? Do you go plastic? Uh, do you go fully enclosed or do you like a bit of sunshine? What about the umbrella? Would you have an umbrella? Do you have an umbrella? Uh, how many people do you sit outside on the patio? You know, I suppose that depends on how big your house is. Uh, but is it just family? Do you have lots of people come round? You tell me. Tell me about your garden escapades. Uh, what has been good? Ugh, I mean this. I wouldn't want anyone round here at the minute. But once it's done, who do you think they would invite round? Family only or show off to the neighbours? Ooh. I nearly wrote my name there with the pressure washer. I feel like maybe this is a little bit narrow for this area. Getting under here is a bit of a mission. I would I would tend to move this normally, you know. There we go. But I don't know. I think we're gonna need another break from the the pressure washer again. Not the pressure washer, that would be pretty stupid when we're doing the pressure or power washer simulator game to stop power wash simulating. But I'm just thinking of this patio is more what I mean we need a break from. I'm going to go for a wider nozzle again because it's just taking so long. And I don't think that stone cleaner helped much at all really. But maybe it did. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm using it wrong. Look at this mess. Disgusting. Let's get down real low. Crawl along. Imagine if you're inside watching this guy work. What is he doing? Why is he <laughs> why is he going along commando style? Why is he lying in the muck? I mean that is dedication when you get down this low to clean this fence. I would give the guy a tip, you know, if if this was a dude cleaning my patio like this but not moving the patio furniture. I mean, that is, that is just a bit strange. I think we should be allowed to move that. There's probably a way of doing that and I'm just daft and can't figure that out. Whew. It's quite hard work. Maybe we should wash the fence. Beautiful. 
What about fence panels? Do you like big fence panels like this? Uh, have you got fences? Tell me about woodwork. I mean, fences are a pain, aren't they? Just to try and keep them all maintained and washed and washed. I don't tend to wash my fence that much, but you know, you've got to paint them from time to time, haven't you? Which is annoying. I've never tried a fence sprayer. Uh, I'm interested in whether they are any good or do you end up just spraying all the concrete around and making a general mess? I expect that's quite possible. I don't know. But then just going up and down with the old um, brush. Wow, that's boring. But is it, am I looking at it wrong? Should I be in tune with my thoughts and meditating you know, as we're doing that? Maybe that is the thing. You know, when I think about this, one of the things that could be good with Power Wash Simulator, I suppose, is sometime in the year you can't actually do some of these jobs. So, like at the minute, it's really wet and horrible outside. It's currently, what the heck month am I in? January. So, it's too wet to paint. You can't do much in the way of, you know, dry jobs in the garden. So, you're stuck inside. So, you know, maybe that's a reason why people would play more Power Wash Simulator in the winter where it's nice and warm inside and you can't really do these sort of jobs outside because it's too wet and horrible. Could be. Could be why there is a surge of simulation playing going on when the weather is too horrible to do it if we're really outside. Um, or is it that you just really want to play with all the gear but you've got no idea or you can't afford it in real life and you just think, I want to have a go. Or do you put, live somewhere with a hose pipe van and you think, I love power washing but I can't do it because it's too expensive. Could be. You know, so um, of course lots of people on water meters now. So this is more expensive to do. We earned a bit of money there, we're doing all right. Uh, let's have a little look at the jobs and see where we should go. Uh, I would quite fancy the birdhouse. Obviously, you know, I don't want to go out with the birdhouse, but I quite fancy cleaning it. Where is it? There. And that looks like it'll be fairly easy. And it's very cute. Beautiful. It's 48% clean. I'm sort of getting into some of the sort of controls that we've got at our disposal here and figuring out, you know, how, how things work and how we move around. Uh, so that's kind of good. So we can I've got to go all the way down here. Is this part of it's gonna be and then that's the birdhouse stand. So it's still we've got to go with this. Oh dear, I'm not doing a very good job on that. Poor little birdies. I hope there's not a bird in there. I'd be terrified. Come on. Clean up. Do you have bird houses or bird stuff in your garden? Do you like feeding the birds? Or do you not like the bird poo poo that goes everywhere with it? Feeding the birds. See, I didn't think about the underneath here. Again, this seems to be a little bit uh, sort of harsh to make me clean the underneath. And you do wonder how on earth the underneath of the birdhouse got this dirty. And also, who built this birdhouse? Because it is built of, again, lead, I think, because hitting it with a pressure washer and it not going absolutely anywhere in the in the sort of garden vicinity not vicinity vicinity is quite impressive really that it's still staying in place i reckon we need to do a ch nozzle change again i think we need some serious power here that looks good i mean that would be spraying us right in the face i nearly took out all the daisies there i probably have taken them out Again, the daisies appear to be made of lead. Uh, I'd quite like it if there was a bit of physics there that they poofed around when get, getting hit and maybe that, you know, you should be told off a little bit if you damage stuff like that. We have cleaned a birdhouse, that is beautiful. I mean, this bad boy, this is important in any sort of garden, I think. What do you think? Should this have been the first thing I cleaned? So I am a fan of the barbecue, but, and there's a big but, uh, my barbecue has really not had so much attention in the past year and I think the reason for that is 
the air fryer. Who's got an air fryer? Because the air fryer just, I don't know, it's just amazing. It like cooks meat beautifully and doesn't burn the heck out of it. Whereas the barbecue, if you forget to go and get the meat or turn it over, it just burns everything. Plus the barbecue is a right pain to clean, as you can see with this. In fact, maybe this is why the garden is so dirty that they've just had loads of barbecues and it's just covered everything in soot. Maybe that is what's happened here and why we've had to get, you know, this massive job to clean everything up. I'm not convinced it's a good idea to hit the gas bottle with tons of water. Not that it will blow up because obviously, you know, the water would sort of, I don't, I don't know, put the fire out, I suppose. Um, but, you know, we don't want it going to, to, to sort of full manky where the connectors are. Uh, I don't know. Oh, that looked really dirty under there. Look at that. I would quite like to know whether you have played this game or would you play this based on my ramblings and sort of experience of playing it so far. Uh, or do you just like watching and listening to some fool ramble on as he's playing it himself? I don't know. Hard to say. But I do quite like playing games and rambling at the same time. It's probably a sign of uh, a bit of madness going on with me, but I'm hoping that we'll get some sort of you know, interaction between you and me. I do mean you. Yeah, you. You who's watching this. Who, me? Don't you mean the other guy? No, you. What I want is a little hello or something to, to sort of know that you've actually you know, watched this. So you tell me. Uh, something about this video or react to it tell me about your barbecue what model barbecue have you got how many burners you know I'm interested gas or charcoal which is better I'm very mixed I originally started with charcoal and got very frustrated with lighting said barbecue and also cleaning said barbecue out so I then went to gas and didn't resent that at all you know some people are going doesn't taste the same well you know, you can burn the meat on any barbecue and then it all tastes pretty much the same. It all tastes the charcoal. But I suppose if you are a... Did I actually clean the whole barbecue? I don't know. Hang on. One sec. One sec. Is it happy with that? Barbecue patio. Barbecue patio trim. What, what is the barbecue called? Cooker? Control panel. We've got to do that. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying there. Yeah, so uh, maybe if you're like a serious barbecuer, maybe there are reasons why you go with one o over the other. And that is looking pretty clean to me. I'm liking that. The trolley is clean. Nice. All right, so let's clean this area. I think this is good progress that we've done in this little play, this little Let's Play sort of episode. I think we've had some fun. We've thought about you know, different things. I like that in this garden, they've kind of like dedicated a shrine area to the barbecue. I think that is quite wise. Uh, with enough room behind it so it doesn't set the bush on fire, which is always wise. So I like there's been a good bit of thinking going on there. Um, I was probably asking someone about barbecues. We, we went gas, we went, um, what was the other thing, charcoal. Uh, but or air fryer I'd love to know if any of you have replaced your barbecue with the air fryer obviously the barbecue has an advantage that you can cook 4 million sausages at a time um, which if you're going to entertain that becomes quite essential but if you're more just cooking for the family are you lazy now do you just use the air fryer or do you still like the idea of burning stuff outside do let me know getting there with this still looking a bit crusty Look at that. What is growing? I'd love to know what this yellow stuff is. It's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Let's have a little look. Oh, see, look, there's so much crust there. I think we're going to have to to go a naught degree nozzle to get that off. Look at it. Yuck. That's getting it. You can't cope with that. Look at that, that's just smashing everything. 
personally I think that nought degree would probably knock out all of that little sort of jointing that we've got there between our sort of slabs because I've done that before you know you go like this in the garden and all this compound comes out and you go oops uh, and then you think actually that compound was quite expensive and then you think I've got to get some more and then you think no it's too expensive so you just end up with holes in your in your patio floor and then what happens is that stuff grows in it so then you've got a weeding problem then you've got a weed your patio which is obviously quite annoying because you built the patio so you didn't have to weed in the first place and you end up with weeds everywhere uh, then if you're still too lazy to sort that out and repair it the weeds get under the stones and then the stones will crack and then you have to pull all them up and then you're back to the bare ground that you didn't want in the first place covered in weeds then you've got broken stones that you got to get rid of and then you've got to replace the whole thing so what am I saying there? I suppose it's look after your patio uh, and be gentle with the power washing so you don't have to repair it all, you know? I think that's a good plan. Uh, but what do I know? Not a lot. Honest, those things haven't happened to me in my garden. That's getting there. That is getting there. But we are at 30 minutes, so I'm going to call that a time. We'll call that a time, call time on this bit uh, of Power Wash Simulator. But look, we are making pretty good progress. I mean, look at the difference. Granted, we're not quite there. The shed could do with a bit of TLC and the lawn mower has seen better days. Um, that's looking horrendous. And the poor kid who has to drive this, that's for the next episode. Thanks so much for watching.